progress or social cultural social cultural revolution the philosophical idea that society moves forward to forward by dialectical or evalu evaluational means in society social change is the trans transformation of culture and social institutions over time. Social change starts with the individual that have an impact at the broader institutional group or society level. The impact of social change on language and what role does society play in language change? Language is linked with members of society in which it, which it is spoken. And social factors are inevitably reflected in their speech. First, their vocabulary, vocabulary change. Slang terms in particular come and go very few years. Slang spurs social disaster. Meanings of was changed too. The process of language change reflects social process. In fact, all the people across the world have various divergent cultures which they cherish and practice. Myanmar has early civilization dating back to first century with archaeology evidence of the few kingdom of Shri Kisra, Pedano and Hanlin. The first empire was founded in early 11th century by King Noyata. Um, sorry, I script I skip the next section, the last. Uh, I show this is Myanmar tradition. Donation to mom. This is the Gen Festival in Myanmar. And the last session I'd like to present is language change. I like to invite, I like to um, divide two categories: internal change and social change. Language is a social phenomenon. Language and society are always combined. People from different geography place, places clearly speak differently, but even within the small group community, they are various according to speaker, speaker's age, gender, ethnicity, and social and education, educational background. And internal change concerned with language change itself. And because of varieties, language can be changed. The varieties of Myanmar language can be divided into three categories standard varieties, sociolex, and regional dialects. The standard language is the social beverage varieties of language. In any language, one of the varieties of language is classified as standard language. Standard Numa language variety can be divided into two styles, which are spoken style and written in Numa. 
the difference lies almost entirely in grammatical words. Social language vary of language that differs from one social class or social status to the next. Social legs are most, mostly used in urban areas, especially Yangon. Yangon has a high population. There are many kinds of work. There are many levels of social standards. Therefore, according to social boundaries, social legs are commonly used. Use in urban locality having a spoken language. This is the most distinctive. Slangs are mostly used by young people from urban area in Myanmar. Slangs are taste of the age group. Some people also apply the use to become a friendly person in the group. But if an who person is applying these slang usage in abundance, he will be graded in indecent speaker. Let's now turn to regional dialect. There are many regional dialects in Myanmar. This maps to regional area, mainly. Miei, Mola Miei, also Thailand area. External change occurs by language contact. I like to mention three categories of internet change. Long was called missing and Mianli. Now I'm going to conclude my presentation. What I have presented is on social changes and language change in Myanmar. Language change as internal change and external change. This presentation cannot cover the whole wide scope of Myanmar language change. However, is it believed that based on this paper, research works can be conducted? There are many varieties of language in Myanmar and are very interesting. Most of these varieties are reflected by social factors. Let me end by saying that may I invite the linguists from foreign countries to come to Myanmar for the study of Myanmar language. Thank you for your time and interest. Thank you very much for your presentation, Dr. Aumi Blue. Well, I have to apologize for the very limited time we have, too many interesting to say, but too little time we have. Um, I'd like to summarize uh, Dr. Armin Wu's speech in time. Briefly, Dr. Armin Wu is on the topic of the transformation of the language, 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 the ที่เกิดขึ้นในสังคมนะคะล้วนแล้วแต่เป็นการส่งผลกระทบต่อกระบวนการการเปลี่ยนแปลงทางภาษาไม่ว่าจะเป็นเรื่องของเศรษฐศาสตร์วรรคยสัมพันธ์และเศรษฐศาสตร์เป็นต้นค่ะ now let us move to the third the third speaker Dr. Yutaka นะคะทศจินกะ
Dr. Tsuchinaga received a PhD degree in law from Kyoto University and uh, political science from Osaka University. He is now a professor at Graduate School of Humanities and Social Sciences, USD of Cuba, and also the Vice President for International Affairs at this university. Recently, Dr. Tsuchinaga published a book titled An Introduction to Politics and several volumes of the Contemporary Civil Society series. Now please give a warm welcome to Dr. Tasujinaga, who is going to present a speech titled Identity, Neighborhood Community and Civil Society in Asia. Uh, thank you very much for kind introduction. I would like to examine ASEAN's knowledge and identity from the perspective of civil society to explore some of the positive and uh, social commonalities found among ASEAN countries. Uh, my presentation consists of seven parts, but putting accent on the neighborhood community and neighborhood organization. Uh, myself, I'm a comparative political scientist. Unfortunately, not an ASEAN expert, not a Thai expert. I just established the Institute for Comparative Research in Human and Social Sciences uh, in my university, and I just elected as a president of the uh, Japanese Political Science Association. I've been doing uh, very comprehensive uh, uh, civil society organization survey since 1997. Uh, in 15 countries, try to make grasp civil society free of Western bias. I uh, did start Japan, Korea, United States, Germany, China, Turkey, Russia. Philippines, Brazil, Bangladesh, Uzbekistan, Estonia, Poland, India, and now doing Thai. I'm also doing research on the function of civil society organization after the disaster, March 2011. And I did publish several books this day on civil society in Japan as well as other countries. This year, I published uh, Civil Society in China and uh, Non-Profit and Advocacy in the United States and the Neighborhood Association and Local Governance in Japan. And my theoretical goal as a political scientist is to make uh, uh, some theory of between economic growth and uh, political modernization, uh, there is a limit of uh, modernization theory embedded by the uh, United States or Western country. They say the more economic growth followed by uh, political democratization or modernization, but it is not so simple. You know Thai people very well. So I, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, civil society factor in this uh, graph. <coughs> so I did a lot of surveys in 15 countries. There are a lot of interesting stories that I cannot tell today. Uh, sometimes very dangerous doing a survey in the Uzbekistan, or doing a survey in China, or so on and so on. But sometimes I recommend like something that is a collection of episodes. I'm not an uh, uh, ASEAN specialist, and uh, I'm not a specialist on Thai land, and I'm not a specialist of identity, but identity is a kind of uh, proof of existence, proud of something. And the ASEAN countries, or ASEAN, need uh, some positive symbol for further integration. Uh, as you may know, uh, my generation knows very much what brought ASEAN together is uh, anti-communist 
in the 1960s. But now, ASEAN countries are 